first sentence of this rule change, DHS admits that mumps outbreaks have occurred in highly vaccinated population. This is a fact that is evidenced by the numerous reports of mumps outbreak that have occurred in recent years among fully vaccinated individuals. The CDC has admitted to the fact that mumps vaccines do fail, and this is supported by Wisconsin DHS's own data, which has consistently shown that fully vaccinated individuals are contracting mumps and spreading it to other fully vaccinated individuals. What is the point to this definition change except to punitively exclude unvaccinated children from schools in the event of an outbreak, be it so defined as three or more cases or 2% of the unvaccinated population. Because obviously anyone who has not had, had the disease and had lifelong immunity because of having the disease will be at risk for mumps. Further, given the lack of transparency, the exclusion of moms and dads, the demographic most impacted by this rule change in any rule change discussions, coupled with the poor conduct shown by DHS bureaucrats towards concerned parents at the July 26, 2019 hearing, I would respectfully ask that going forward, this committee insists that parents, the primary stakeholder, be given a seat at the table regarding any future revisions to DHS 144.